Hello everyone, this is Stunch Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Thor, Love and Thunder, Jane Foster Thor, or known as Mighty Thor here. Uh, so let's go over the packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on the top, Thor, Love and Thunder uh, logo here in the bottom, Mighty Thor. Here is the side art of Mighty Thor there. Here is the back with that same artwork there. If you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. Uh, Marvel Legends logo here in the top right corner, and for this wave we're building Korg. Uh, we got um armored thor with the blue and red uh, blue and gold armor now we're doing jane foster thor or mighty thor right now where he did gore where he did king uh valkyrie where he did ravager thor where he did star lord and where he did group uh and then uh here's the other side art there here is the top with the broken hammer uh logo there and then here is the bomb with the dci but besides that let's crack her open and here is Mighty Thor or Jane Foster Thor out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Korg's uh, left leg, which we'll go over once we build him. And then we got Mjolnir here all put back together uh, for the new Thor movie. And as you can see, there's some cracks in there. I wish they did paint in uh, some darker gray or just black in there to, just to see, uh, just so that we could clearly tell it's cracked. Instead of like, when I mean, it's far away, you can barely tell unless there's like light on it. Uh, or maybe paint it blue because I heard there's supposed to be something cool with this hammer where it like disassembles and it comes back together. That I would like. Uh, the handle, uh, the uh, like the handle for this thing, it's like very sturdy. I like the detailing on it. You get, like you get this like leather looking, like wrapping around it for the paint, and then you got the very silver reflective like uh, parts to the handle there, which looks really good. And you get the silver there at the little bottom part of it and you get the the um, strap there for around the wrists for them but yeah this hammer then they did a really good job on this hammer i just wish they painted the cracks a little bit more but yeah that's all i got for this and then here we have another head sculpt for uh mighty thor which is the ha uh, helmet for it uh for her and you got the blonde hair coming out of it which is awesome maybe a little bit of a darker blonde wash would probably help out a lot but the main, uh, the main thing on this thing is the the helmet. You get the red lipstick for. Uh, you get some like red detailing in the helmet here, which is really cool. Look there, some on the side part of it. Nice sculpt. You get the wings there on the side of it. And you get some uh, black along the back there, so that's really cool. I'm gonna have her displayed with this uh, face sculpt on it, but yeah. And then here is Mighty Thor, Jane Foster, up close. So here she is without the helmet. Uh, so nailed the Natalie Portman uh, head sculpt. I just got to get used to not uh, seeing her with blonde hair instead of brown hair. <laughs> because it looks a little off to me. Uh, but they nailed the head sculpt for sure, though. Uh, you get the eyes, uh, like brown eyes. You get some, like, eyeshadow, I think, in there. Brown uh, eyebrows. Uh, pink lipstick there. You get the blonde hair. It gets like a little bit more golden at the top and then it gets like a little more unsaturated near the ends. And then you get this really nice rich red cape there for her, which is awesome. And you get this uh, like this gray circular pieces here for the cape. And then also here and then here. And you get some brown detailing in there, some black in there, like very metallic looking. And you get this like brown strap around your bicep. You got pinless double jointed elbows, which is awesome. And then you got this like leather skirt piece with some like armor around it, which is really cool. So you get some nice texturing around there. Soft plastic too. Goes all the way around actually, which is nice. And then you get the pants here. You get some knee pan uh, knee pads. Uh, They're like painted metallic silver. And then here, also for the arms, you get some forearm pads and the uh, gloves that are also padded. And you also get the padded knuckles, which is awesome. And this is like a navy blue for the the padding or the guard area. And then you get like these bolts around it, which are sculpted and painted silver. And then you get the straps around the other side of it, fingerless gloves. Same deal on the other side. 
Uh, this is more of a relaxed hand also, by the way. We've seen this sculpt before. So just added that on it. And this is a hammer holding hand. And I believe this one moves horizontally. So keep that in mind. Um, and then for the shin guards, you get this. You get the wings on the side of them, which is really cool too. So that's silver. I see a little bit of marbling going on in there, but it's not too bad. And then you get some more padding on the foot part of it. And then in the heel, the shins go all the way around it. Same deal on the other side. And then you get some black around the, the soles of it. So yeah. And then let's go over to the articulation for this uh, for this figure. So she has a double ball joint in the head that goes down that far. Up just that far, the hair goes, it gets in the way a bit. Left and right movement, some head pivoting. Uh, shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. Biceps will double jointed the elbows, which I'm always happy about. Uh, wrists hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. The other one moves side to side, so it goes down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. Yeah, ball joint at the diaphragm, so she can go forward that much, backwards that much, side to side motion, some twisting. Uh, legs kick out that far, forward that far, backwards, not a whole lot. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, also pin lisp too. Um, Ankles hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here is Mighty Thor with the hammer and the helmet sculpt on. I love this figure. They nailed the sculpting and the head sculpt and everything on this figure. The paint job is amazing. Uh, the only problem that I have with it, or a little improvement that we could probably add on to it, which is not too bad, is just adding paint to the cracks, which I think would have helped a little bit. Maybe blue to make it look like it's actually like activating with lightning. I heard that it's supposed to disassemble and then come back together the Mjolnir hammer. Um, but besides that, like the articulation is amazing on this figure. The only problem that I have is the head, but it can't move up so far just because of the hair. But besides that, like this figure is awesome. Uh, definitely one of my top 10 figures probably now, uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, this, I highly recommend getting this figure. She is awesome. Um, I am really excited this year in the new Thor movie. So, uh, yeah, but I just gotta get used to seeing Natalie Portman with blonde hair, like I said. So, um, yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. If you guys want to help support me on my other uh, social media accounts like TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check that out in the link tree in, my, uh, in the description. Uh, I also do brief reviews on here that uh, are about three minutes long, two and a half minutes long, uh, just to get to the point and everything. Uh, it's pretty fast. Um, so, if you want to more up to speed stuff go ahead and check out my tiktok but besides that that's all i got so thanks for watching